Hello and welcome to this Victor tutorial where you will learn how to create, install and start an empty app template which you will use to build all your own apps. Before going into detail, I would like to quickly show you the result of this tutorial and how Victor will work. This will help you understand the process as we get on. On the right side of my screen, I have my editor open. Here you can see the empty app template. On the left side, you can see my browser. And as you can see, the development environment is open and the app is empty. If we now add a number field to the editor, let's call it number. Then we will see the app reload in the terminal. And if we refresh the page in the browser, we can see our number field appear. Now let's run through the steps to starting an application. It is important to realize that our code is stored locally. So to make our apps easy to find, we are going to make a folder where it is recommended to store all your applications. If you already made this folder for a tutorial or a guide, then you can skip this step. Now for this tutorial, we will make a folder called My First App. If you are making another app, we can simply make another folder for that app. For example, My Second App. Now that we have our folder structure in place, let's start an app. Open up your editor of choice and navigate to the folder that we just made for our app. As you can see, the folder is still pretty empty. So let's change that. To make our files, we will use the Victor CLI. To use the CLI, we need to open the terminal. You can use a terminal that is built into your editor or Windows PowerShell. The most important thing is to check the path in the terminal and that we are in the app folder since we do not want to make the files in the wrong folder. Now you can type Victor CLI create app app type editor into the terminal and hit enter. This will make the necessary files and now we have our app files on our computer. So how do we get our app on the cloud? We do that by installing the files on our database in the cloud. Before we install the app, we need to check two things. First, we will clear our database by typing Victor CLI clear into our terminal. This will remove any data of previously installed apps for us. When you see the message that you have successfully cleared your database, we can move on to the next check. For the next check, we need to ensure that we have all our packages and dependencies. Victor comes with some packages such as NumPy, but sometimes you will want to import some more. For this example, I will add Plotly to my requirements file by opening the file and adding it right here like so. Now we just need to make sure to save the file when we are done. Now when we install our app, Victor will make sure to add Plotly as well. Please make sure to check this beforehand. If you forget the package, you will need to add it to the requirements and install the app again. We are now ready to install the app. We will once again use the Victor CLI for this. In the terminal, we will type Victor CLI install and hit enter. If you see the following message appear, that is a good sign and the app is installing. In other words, the app is now connecting to the cloud and making sure all the dependencies will be available to us as we develop our app. The installation may take a few minutes, so feel free to pause the video and grab a cup of coffee or tea while it installs. When you can see the message that the installation was successful, you are ready to move on to the next step. We will now do as the message says and type the command Victor CLI start to start our app. This will give us some information, like that our app is ready, and above that, a link to where we can see our app. 
Let's click on the link and go to our development workspace. Here we will see that the connection is successful because we can see the empty app. Like in the beginning of this video, let's add a number field to prove that the connection is there. In our editor, let's open app.py, import the number field from Victor. We can then add a variable to the parameterization. Let's call it number again and make it a number field. Now save the app.py by pressing Ctrl S. Let's go and refresh your app in the browser. And if all went well, you should now be able to see the number field appear like so. Let's go back in our editor. And at some point in the development process, you will need to stop the application. It may also happen that you didn't mean to close the application. In both cases, we can simply type Victor CLI start into the terminal to restart our app without having to reinstall because our Victor database is still up to date. As you can see, the app is now running again. You are now ready to start building your app with Victor. Best of luck.